The US Air Force has already built and flown a full-scale flight demonstrator of its sixth-generation fighter jet in 2021, and China has been among the nations leapfrogging the fifth generation of fighter jets, and as per latest reports, China's sixth-generation aircraft might be in the development stage, and it plans to field it between 2025 to 2030. India will develop AMCA in Mark 1 and Mark 2 variants, in which the Mark 2 variant will be classified as a 5.5 generation aircraft, that will also incorporate many of the futuristic technologies that the world is expected to see in the 6th generation fighter jets, that includes remote piloting, auto air to air refueling, laser pods, next generation engine, long range weapons, and advanced electronic warfare and intelligence surveillance system and sensors. In a landmark event in the history of indigenous warship building, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has launched two frontline warships at Mazagin Docks Limited, that includes INS Shurat, which is the fourth and last Project 15B destroyer, and INS Wadegiri, the third Project 17A frigate. INS Shurat has been built using the block construction methodology, which involves hull construction at two different geographical locations and join them together at Mazagin Docks Limited, while INS Wadegiri also incorporates modular shipbuilding technologies. Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design is the brain behind the design of both warships, and Mazagin Docks Limited has ordered almost 75% of the equipment and systems locally from the private sector including micro-small and medium enterprises. The former Chief of Indian Navy retired Admiral Arun Prakash has said, that with the induction of eight Chinese-built Yuan-class submarines equipped with AIP system from 2023, the Pakistan Navy will have a total of 11 AIP-equipped submarines by 2028. He also said, that Indian Navy's Project 75I is in shambles due to a single vendor situation, that could call for a hideous retendering process that could take another three to four years. India has the option to convert the Project 75I to nuclear attack SSN program, for which government-to-government -government agreement should be explored expeditiously, and jointly manufactured by both Mazagan Docks Limited and Larson and Tubro. National Aerospace Laboratories has successfully validated the digital anti-skid brake management system developed for Sarah's Mark II light transport aircraft, that will enable operation from short runways. The taxi trials of the anti-skid brake system was conducted at the speed of about 30 knots, and the results were highly satisfactory. The first flight of Sarah's Mark II is planned for December 2024, and the Indian Air Force has already committed to induct 15 aircraft. The Indian government has indefinitely suspended the negotiations with Russia's Rosborough export and original equipment manufacturer Russian helicopters to acquire 10 CAMF-31 airborne early warning helicopters for $520 million for the Indian Navy. The suspension is due to concerns over Russia's ability to execute orders, as well as issues related to payment transfers. The Bangalore-based company Aru Private Limited has said, that it has delivered the first set of about 41,000 extreme cold weather clothing system to the Indian Army, that is designed to keep the body warm in temperatures of minus 50 degrees Celsius. Aru is also in advanced field trials with the Indian Army for new extreme cold clothing trousers, which provides protection in temperatures of minus 30 degrees Celsius. The Indian Air Force Chief has arrived in Tokyo on a 4-day official visit, to interact with the Chief of Japan Air Self-Defense Force and Japanese Defense Minister to strengthen defense cooperation. It is learned that dates for the first air combat exercise between the two air forces will also be finalized during this high-level engagement. The Air Chief's visit will also be followed by 2 plus 2 meeting of foreign and defense ministers of the two nations in Tokyo.